Hello and welcome back to another episode of Gears Tactics Blind Playthrough. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing veteran mode. I want to get some more supreme loot. This is maybe the last iteration of veteran mode levels. I just want to get a few more of these sweet, sweet loot items. I want to try um, some of the builds that we haven't tried yet. But before we do that, let's go for Grim Lightning. This here is, I think, a control mission. And I would want the El Clasico team, the original team, to control this. And we're going to see how well these guys are doing with upgraded equipment. Uh, Sid has uh, so much upgraded equipment that he is now, nowadays, nowadays turned invisible, apparently. And the other guys are great as well. I like the higher accuracy bonus that already tells you we're more towards the end game. And... Look at that, 375% crit damage. Uh, Sid here has a good crit damage as well. Thinking about his setup, I think we're going for Flatliner plus additional crit damage instead. Seems like the right choice. He's at 230% uh, 230 uh, crit damage as well. These are the quote-unquote cookie cutter standard builds that we I have came up, uh, that we came up with and for the other uh, missions I will take a few other uh, builds it's high time for a supply run the grubs will try to get in our way so dig in and fight them back while you load up I will take some of the other builds just uh, to switch it up and see how well it goes currently I'm still very much enjoying the game but I know I should um, actually work on the Rookie Balboa run because that is what you guys are waiting for as well. So it's potentially one of those uh, situations where you would want to finish a campaign but you end up um, doing something else which is more important. So a few more missions and then we'll uh, close that run down. For now, let's jump right into the action here. And give it a good go. We need to lock down those supplies before the locust destroy. Oh, that's a new map. No, we fought here once, but it is a slightly altered map. I distinctly remember count. the once uh, one time that we fought here, there was some ultra good high ground position up here. And it still seems quite nice, but up here seems even better. Yeah, that's potentially the better, uh, the better spot. Okay, we do not have a scout with us. No AP gained for executing locusts. Well, okay. that's not really a problem. Go ahead. Mikaela rushes in. I want to take the high ground over here. Sid, uh, Gabe rather, is okay. joining her. In terms of positioning, I would say we're positioning the heavy over here. Yeah, that's that's a fantastic position for the heavy. Could take potentially could take on an entire squad Solid by themselves uh, by themselves, and sit on the other hand takes the position over here. Good in terms of crates. Where are all of the crates? We got three epic cases. One there. One over here, and one down there. Okay, well, Jack does what Jack does best. Starts moving in and collecting crates. It's a bit of a wider Get map. In. Here they come. And we're fighting against tickers some Fenan guards and some uh, advanced disciples. Let's 
do this shit. Good, we're go. still very much rushing. Yep. Copy. Sid moves closer. Standing by. <laughs> and let's try to get that epic case here. Very good. Next one is up there. I am wondering. Um, nah, we're just we're just char uh, charging in that direction. I was uh, thinking if we should take the high ground already and uh, kill all of them. Right. Gabe will help her, and will. Uh, place uh, themselves on the other side. Okay. Two, two, two. All of that is two time units or two movement units. There we go. It's a fantastic option for a sniper aura. Thanks, Jack. And support aura. So that the cooldowns aren't down as long as they normally are. With a support aura, Empower has a one turn cooldown. Good. We're nicely positioned up there. All right. Let's do this. There we go. Two extra uh, extra turns. And this here just... This asks uh, for... For a massacre. Um, before I forget it, because I typically tend to forget it. Teamwork. Time to up your game. All right, clean guard first. Could have been a crit, but was not, but that's fine. Still four turns, four time units left over. Again, not a crit. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Let's try to use this here as a reload. Okay, again, not a crit. What is happening? We're killing this guy. Now, unfortunately, we effectively need to reload. That's another kill. Play with this Shit, yeah. Fantastic. Okay, so the good part is she's all uh, she's almost ready for fast fingers again. Epiphany really helps with those cooldown reductions. Yeah, yeah. Start to appreciate it much more than before. In position. Waiting orders. Sid is just waiting there. Understood. We are barricading ourselves in right here. And just assuming on, that ready. someone might be coming from there. Here. Good. This here will reduce her cooldowns 
on top of it. Hold it down now. We got a nice uh, fear and bow that is lying in the open. Maybe Sid can, can just get that. Fantastic position so far. I'm listening. Can we position ourselves? Yeah, we could position ourselves over here. bit unclear how the vision range would work there's also a bit of a blocking here if he takes the overwatch aura and Jack continues to move and makes himself invisible Ideas? heavy reporting in Good look. I mean, on Overwatch. if they really want to come, they are more uh, more than invited to do so. Gate okay, begins to move up. I suspect there is still another Theron guard here, unless I have, unless I have misremembered uh, that go ahead and i think the other uh, guys were landing over here fair enough so a couple of Can preparations yep they have indeed landed there. Now then. Good. I don't know where that last guy is. Um, but we do have extra action units. Which in this case, I am considering giving Jack. Not sure though if that's a great idea. Might put it into the heavy, but he has four overwatch shots already, so All ease. feels a bit wasted not to use uh, them. I do have an idea. Be right there. Very good. There's the Theron guard. I was. Afraid of? Got your back, soldier. And she is doing well. Eighty percent uh, crit chance. Good day. Handled one. And good night. You know, I'm just waiting with chain shot. Fast fingers reload. She's on a roll. Let's just use Overwatch for now. That's all good. We do have a super solid position here. And another Theron Bow down there. Minimum damage because he's behind behind that um, 
than that set of crates here. Oh, and also because they are in the aura. I see. Okay, so, just out of curiosity, we could move over here, that leave this side here a bit unprotected. We could move to here and make sure that these two guys are not moving we do have extra actions right yep we do okay well may give it a try on my way <gasps> affirmative get after it now there we go so jack Oh, wow. Yeah, I'll just make myself invisible and move out of here, but I'm wondering if we need anything. Hey, Currently not. So what I was thinking about is hitting these guys. Unfortunately, only a 37% uh, crit chance, but if we were to crit, that would be great. Heating up for more damage. Target pin. Very good. And... That's a 70% chance to crit. Well, let's give that a fair try. Scratch one grub. Good, we're down to two time units. Jack can solve that problem. Heavy here. Just out of curiosity, this here is a double kill. I think we should still do that and another option is Jack's actually the one that could stay in here just like this so that we're collecting makes himself invisible because that will save us quite a bit of time and problems fantastic out of commission Good. He they cannot move, and we have uh, the other one firmly under control. Yeah, I'm on it. Moving over. Down. That's uh, one kill, right there. And another one right there. You want me, asshole? Good. Overwatch? No. Well, why not? Uh, they were, I think, coming from here. Got it covered. Sit did nothing in the entire encounter. On it. Advancing. Good. Moving up. Got that nice little torque bow, and we're going to get some loot. Enemy movement. I see him. Rub 
Terminated. No back. Almost there. All right, we're up. Very well. Reporting. Orders. We got most of uh, we got most of them already down. Let's hit him. And the hat trigger has just uh, killed him. Well, well, well. Roger that. And get lost. And we are overwatching back. Jack here. Damn it, Jack. Where is the last crate? I think it was down there. Okay, begins to move into that direction. Got it covered. All of her skills will be uh, will be reset. Copy. Or rather, one round uh, less on all of her uh, skills. We got a nice little torque bow here. Worth the effort. I think Diaz will just help uh, with that second point. Going to move in there. Enemies inbound. Oh, look at that. A boomer. A boomer. Good. The other side seems vacant. That could be a problem. Okay. What is it really? Question mark. here it's potentially not Getting it's potentially now. not a problem Jack moves up the main cooldown aura uh, the main auras are not yet uh, back up stay out of trouble Jack Yeah, could we... Hmm. Okay, now. Let's hand over action items, uh, actions to her. Got your back, soldier. Proceeding on foot. Good. In terms of damage, let's just lock and load. Lock Fifty percent uh, damage for every everybody. We don't know what's going to come out of that hole. Uh huh. And for Michaela, it's great because that means more damage. Hundred, hundred, and that's a lower chance. But yeah, I mean we can start here. It's not a crit. <laughs> that is a crit and a nice one. Got one. That's a kill. Um I mean Let's just take a shot, even if it misses, not a problem. Because this here will be a reload. Hmm, 
I see. How do we do that? I I've an idea. Ultimate shot. Putting them on blast. Target down. Good reload will give us even more damage. That's a nice hit. That was another hit, but not a crit. Yep, moving. All right, one, two. Thrown frag. Next. And back. Three. Very good. Brace yourself. Flip hole. Well, of course, they start joining us on that other side. Yeah, but the first one already regretted his life choices. Second one barely could move away. I think we already won. Yeah. Too fast. Too fast. Fifteen percent crit chance and critical overwatch. Ooh. Oh, that look that sounds fantastic. Hopefully Critical Overwatch is a better form of Disrupt. Because I don't want to get rid of Disrupt. It is just a great skill. It is a fantastic skill for the Heavy. Look at that. Almost level 8. Great. Very good. Uh, that is, I think, everything for today. We still have Mer uh, we still have Rhea as one of our main characters that uh, needs a mission, and I've already thought about we're potentially going to do this mission here, the Raging Tiger, um, and I want to do it with two scouts because we have never done uh, one of uh, those uh, one of those um, I don't know what they are called the missions where you need to uh, where you need to. Uh, grab loot whilst um, moving in front of that explosion uh, so potentially that would be a great option and then uh, I would like to go with this one next which seems a harsh uh, harsher uh, mission and the idea here is I want to use potentially the worst builds um, of all of the trees and I want to try to bring them to life and then and, and be somewhat useful so we're going to do that even without a support i want to go in with a team that does not have a support we haven't done that yet we always had a support with us uh, due to the action economy manipulation so or if we go in with a support maybe with one that can heal um, i will i will look into that but i want to have completely different builds just for a bit of a different um, game experience Anyways, for now, thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you enjoy uh, Gears Tactics Combat, there, there is uh, the option to leave a comment and a like down below. That promotes the video and lets me know that you enjoy the content. Thanks and have a good one. Bye-bye.